What's going on guys? It's Alex here with Northern Scavenger and today I am here to do a gear review on my favorite water filtration system. This is the Platypus Gravity Works water filter. I believe they've got two different systems for these. There's a two liter and a four liter. What you're seeing here is the four liter system. I'm gonna start just by talking about some of the things that I like about this and some of the disadvantages to this system. So above all else, I'll say that the pros outweigh the cons for me personally for the style of tripping that I do. So I do a lot of canoe trips. This system is great for filtering water at camp or uh, when you're on a portage or basically whenever you're, if you pull over to have lunch somewhere and you've got some time, it's great for those circumstances. Where it's not as good is if you were in your canoe in the middle of a lake and you wanted to get water, it maybe isn't as good there because you don't have as convenient of a place to hang it. I mean, you could rig something up with a paddle or something to hang the system off of, but it does get a little bit more challenging. What I really like about this is it's, it's really a set it and forget it type system. So for me, I've used pump filters before where you you know, put one end in the water in the lake and the other end into an algae or something and you stand there and you pump and it's very active because you have to stand there with it and you have to stand there pumping the whole time until it's full. Those are going to be great for when you're out in the boat and you just need a quick analogy or something like that and you can pump and fill it in. But if you're smart about filtering your water and you do it proactively, so for me it might be at camp in the morning, we realize, you know, we're, we're going to need water at some point today. We do a water hang before we hit the water and we'll have four liters in a bag ready to go. We can top up our Nalgene's in the morning and then take the clean bag with us and uh, just carry that clean bag. Sometimes I'll literally just throw that, I'll clip that bag to the back of my canoe on the handle and let it sit at the back of the canoe, tie a little knot in the bottom tube so that no water comes out and it's there whenever you need water. Same thing with a portage. Maybe what I'll do if we're doing a long portage and we're in, we know we're gonna need water when we get to that other side, bring a bag that you know has this filter, get to the other side of the portage, do a hang, and then go get your other gear. And then by the time you come back, another four liters, and you've just finished a portage in the meantime. One of the reasons why I love this is so much is that it doesn't stop you from doing other things. You can scoop the water, it does the filtering for you, and you can continue on uh, doing all your other camp related fun activities. So the way that this system actually works, pull it out here. This is your main filter. If I'm recalling correctly, this filters about 4,000 liters of water. I'm gonna look that up and I'll put the actual number down below. It's got a dirty side and a clean side. You can tell because it says flow on it there, which way the water's supposed to go. So the dirty water comes in this way and the clean water comes out the other side. And then you have your bags. So this is your dirty bag and this is your clean bag. You can tell because they say dirty and clean on it. It's pretty obvious. So anyways, you start with the dirty bag, you fill this with water, you'd hang it on a tree. This then connects into the dirty side of the filter, which then usually you would just clip the clean side in to the other end, and this would be your only filter. I have gone and purchased an additional filter just to try it out. Sometimes lake water, like, I don't know, I just get in my own head about it. I obviously have drank a ton of lake water, but I do find that sometimes the water doesn't taste like as good as your tap water at home. So there is like a taste to it. So I, I bought this carbon filter. It's also a Gravity Works item. And so this is something that you attach after the main filter. So on that clean side, you're gonna put this little attachment on here. And this is gonna help with some of that flavor and uh, just giving you a better tasting water once it's filtered. So the way that my system works, dirty bag clips into the main filter. Then I've got that little extra piece, which is the carbon filter for flavor. This is doing the main, main filtering of the dirt. This is doing extra little flavor filter. And then down into your clean bag, put your clean bag on the end there. And that is the system. All right, so once again, Started with that dirty water up top. It's now filtering down through the Platypus Gravity Works main filter. Then I have the carbon filter added for the flavor. And then finally I've connected the clean bag to the end. So one of the big things with this filter system, there is a little bit of a trick to get it going. So when you first connect this, there's all sorts of air bubbles that are inside. And you'll notice that in the beginning, the water filter is very slow. What I usually do is I let it sit for a couple minutes I, I do certain things like 
before I connect this piece, I'll make sure the water is right at the end so that there's no air in this tube. I'll sometimes do the same thing here, let some water drip out before connecting this. But no matter what you do there, you're still gonna end up with a little bit of air. So what I normally do is let this filter for a few minutes so that some water can collect in the bottom of your clean bag. Now I've got a little bit of water here, then what I'll do is I'll actually take this bag and you lift it above the other one. And you're gonna notice that this now changes the direction and you can watch the bubbles come up here as you get rid of all the air bubbles inside this system. So sometimes you have to do this one or two times, but then you'll start noticing when you drop it back down, the water will be flowing a lot better. You can already see there's still some air bubbles here, but it's moving much faster now than it was before. All right, so now all the water has made it out of the dirty bag and made its way down into the clean bag. Four liters of clean drinking water. One final step that I do every time I filter water is flush out the filter. So if you hold this up here, you'll see water is going back the other way. Sometimes I even just take this dirty water and put it on the ground. And the whole idea is that stuff that got caught in the filter on this end will now get flushed out. And hopefully you'll have a smoother time setting this up next time because it won't be all clogged. And then you can hang this. And now you've got clean water accessible. We usually just leave this hanging around camp. And then whenever uh, your Nalgene's done, come over, tap into the clean water supply. Also, I'm normally throwing this into my bags and stuff. So another thing that I usually do, and I don't know if this is good or not, but I blow against the flow. Just cause I figure leaving water in this probably isn't the best, especially if you're storing it. There we go. So another thing I will add is these clean bags do normally come with a, a cap for the end so that you could take this cap off with the hose and uh, just seal this bag up. I have lost my cap. So if you buy this system, don't lose that cap. Uh, so now I'm, I'm not stuck with using this hose, but I kind of am and uh, I'm sure you could buy a replacement cap, but I've got this hose here. It's got this little stopper on it. What I do, if I'm gonna carry this with me out in the boat, or if I go to put this into a dry bag, you don't wanna put this into like your bare barrel to carry for a portage and then have this come undone and then have four liters of water spill inside. So what I do is I tie a little knot in the end of this hose and then uh, that is kind of like a backup just in case that black plastic piece lets go. So just another little tip there that uh, might help you while you're traveling with the clean water bag on the go. That is the Platypus Gravity Works water filter.